Good morning, third grade. And this is our last day of classes. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. So our last day, let's show you on a calendar here. We are right here, Thursday the 21st. So this is the last day of classes for you guys. We still have our play date tomorrow, so don't forget to join us on Zoom for our play date, okay? All right, let's start off with our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, thoughts, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, let's get our spelling books out for the last time. And turn to page 225. So spelling, page 225. Spelling and quotation marks. Proofread this newspaper article. Use proofreading marks to fix five spelling mistakes, two missing quotation marks, and one missing end mark. So example, a witness said, there's your comma, then we need a quotation mark. The whale is alive, period, quotation mark. Okay, um, so you need to do that page. And then if you turn to page 226, we have spelling test practice. Test tip. If you change an answer, erase your first answer completely. Directions. Choose the word that is spelled correctly and best completes the sentence. Example. Please tell that funny story. And then which again would it be? A, B, C, or D? It would be C. A, G, A, I, N. Fill in circle C, okay? And use your answer sheet on the side here to practice filling in those circles. And page 227, our solar system. Write the words from the box to complete this script for a TV show. Use your spelling dictionary if you need to. And you only have to do that first part, not the bottom, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and do those pages. Okay, guys, welcome back. It is on, we are on page 225. We are going to read Beached Whale. So we need to find five spelling mistakes, two missing quotation marks, and one missing end mark. Two men found a small whale on a beach today about, at about 6 a.m. I see the word about should be spelled A-B-O-U-T. One man said, I called for help right away. Away, A-W-A-Y. The other man said, ooh, here's your quotation mark. So before the word we, you should have a quotation mark. We hoped to save it. Then there's your missing period and then a quotation mark. So we covered the two quotation marks and that missing period all in that one sentence. The other man said, comma, quotation mark. We hoped to save it, period, quotation mark. Help came before 6.30. Before is spelled B-E-F-O-R-E. -E. The area was roped off because a crowd had formed around the whale. Around, A-R-O-U-N-D. Now, rescuers want to keep the whale healthy until they get it back into the sea. Want, W-A-N-T. All right, let's go to page 226 and let's see if we can find our misspelled words. Look at the dark clouds above us. Above is correctly spelled in D. So D should be circled or should be filled in. Number two, I hid behind the big oak tree. 
Behind is spelled correctly in G. Three, Cameron woke up one hour ago, and you should have filled in C. Four, he did not want to eat a snack. You should have filled in F. Five, have those big dogs gone away yet? Away is B. And number six, I like that puppy because it is so friendly. And the correct spelling of because is J. All right, on to page 227, our solar system. Narrator, where are we in the universe? I'll tell you, we live on the planet Earth. Earth is one of nine planets that orbit the sun. And it is the third planet from the sun. At night, we can see other planets in our solar system if we use a strong telescope. We can see the planet Jupiter, which is the largest planet in our solar system. We can also see a weather satellite as it circles Earth. All right, so we can put spelling to the side. And since this is our last day, this is the only video you're going to get. Let's do simple solutions. So we'll do it all in one video and then you'll be done. Okay. All right. So simple solutions. We're doing lesson 64, which is pages 128 and 129. So go ahead and pause the video and do these two pages and come back when you're finished. Okay, guys, let's start with uh, number one. Begin a sentence inside quotation marks with a capital letter. Example, Teresa asked, comma, quotation mark, where are the life jackets? question mark, quotation mark. So this is something we haven't talked about yet. But when you write your sentence that's inside the quotation mark, so what exactly the person said, you have to start that sentence with a capital letter, even though it's kind of in the middle of the entire sentence. Okay, um, that's something you'll you'll learn later on too. choose three words that should be capitalized. So let's look here. Zoe ask, does Kevin know how to bait a hook? So let's find our three words that need to be capitalized. The Z on Zo, the D on does because it's the beginning of exactly what Zo says, and then the K on Kevin because it's his name. Number two, fill in the missing word, change the Y to I, and add ES. James always tries to win the spelling bee. T R I E S. Number three, fill in the singular possessive noun. The pirate's ship had a black sail. So this is singular, P-I-R-A-T-E apostrophe S. Compare nouns using the adjective low. Crouch down the scoot to scoot under these low branches. Just ahead are even lower branches, but the lowest branches are further around along the trail. Number five, underline the adverb that tells where. Don't forget to wash everywhere. You should have underlined everywhere. Number six, remember the words to, T-O, to, T-O-O, and to, T-W-O, have different meanings. Fill in the correct homophones. Go to, T-O, the cupboard, and get to, T-W-O, sheets of paper. Choose the correct verb. The cucumbers grow in the garden. Number eight. Rewrite the sentence, correct two capitalization errors. So um, you should have rewritten the sentence. You should have capitalized the first word, our. So O, capital O, Scout Troop meets the first Thursday, capital T for Thursday, of every month. Number nine, write an adjective, describe each noun. So just an adjective to describe each noun. So bus, we could say yellow bus, big bus, short bus. Smelly bus, mm, depends on who's on it, right? Toothbrush, we could say old toothbrush, we could say blue toothbrush. Um, baseball, you could say um, dirty baseball, new baseball. Astronaut, um, amazing astronaut, intelligent astronaut, okay? So just make sure that your words describe the noun. Number 10, underline the base word and circle the suffix. Choose one word and use it in a sentence. So gloom should be underlined and the Y should be circled. Wax should be underlined. The Y should be circled. 
snow should be underlined and the Y should be circled. And then you should have chosen one and ha should have written it in a sentence. Um, make sure that your sentence makes sense and you have a capital letter and a punctuation mark. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much all we're going to do today. Now we have mass at 10 o'clock. Okay. So you should have gotten information on that already. If not, it's coming today. Okay. So mass at 10 o'clock. Mystery Doug is live again at one o'clock today. Um, I have sent you information on that already. So um, if you haven't received it, look back and see where it's at. I sent it actually today. Okay. Um, so make sure that if you want to see Mystery Doug live, it's a lot of fun. So one o'clock and then reminder of our play date tomorrow. Okay. And you have received information on that on Parent Square and... Did I put on Seesaw? I don't think I did. So just Parent Square. Okay. All right. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have an awesome day. And you don't have to send me anything today. Bye. Enjoy.